guys, it's Each over here. So today um is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to everyone. Well, yeah, since it's Christmas Eve. So my aunt ordered me a doll off of Amazon for Christmas. And I found out the door and my mom said, fine, you can have it now. So yeah, and I got an I pick since I already know what it is. It's the Monster High Scare Master DG Grip doll, which I actually got to pick on my own, so yeah. So she is really pretty, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen some reviews on her because she's an older doll, but I just wanted to get her. So it has the Monster High logos, picture of her, says Gigi Grant, daughter of the genie, and says Scare Master. But the thing I notice is a lot of times when they don't have a specific parent, like Elizabeth says daughter of a vampire, but hers it says the genie. Aren't there other genies? Because it sounds like there are more than one genie. There's more than one genie. I don't know. And the side says Monster High. And the other side has a little Monster High logo. And yeah, this is the older box. It says Monster High at the top. And it says Gigi Grant, Daughter of the Genie. It just has her whole schedule here, which you can pause and read any of this stuff. And here is Gigi right here. So now I'm gonna open her up. There she is out of the package. So she comes with this little purse, which is pink and blue and gold and can open, but you can't really fit anything in there. Not even a piece of paper. She comes with this little binder thing, just, just blue. This really cute pattern on it, which she seems to have a lot on her accessories. And it opens with a little monster high squad in there. Comes with, of course, the basic things like a hairbrush and a doll stand. And she also comes with this little booklet. And basically, all that's inside is just like it has the little bio thing, like in her diary, and that has like her schedules in it. Like things she's doing like one of like the schedules in there so yeah so now we're going to take a look at the doll herself and this packaging is really good for like a hallway scene so i think so i'm definitely going to save it for future videos so here she is so she has her pink and orange hair there's just some pink at the top and then the rest is orange but again she has this like big ponytail thing <laughs> i don't know her face is really cute it's just like her sweet innocent face you know the vibe i get from it and it's just like gold blue and pink makeup i really like the color of her lips she has these long black dangling earrings and they look like oh no that's not scorpion i thought that was like scorpions on it but she has her little like tattoos i don't know if she's born with it or not <laughs> she probably was do not touch my quarter. It hurt. I think her ears are a little bit different. I don't know. But anyways, here's her shirt. It has one blue and one pink sleeve. It's black with this big gold scorpion on it. She has this really cool gold belt. And she has this skirt, which is half pink and half blue, which I really like. Here is this really interesting, like, circle pattern tights. And these really cool gold shoes and this looks like it's like the steam or whatever comes out of the lamp you know and it looks like it has like a scorpion pattern thing on it i don't know just but she's really cute and the skirt and the shirt are two separate pieces which is really cool because usually it's like just one piece like bunnies just like bunnies but this, but it's like Rochelle's, which has like a separate shirt and skirt, which is cool. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this review of Scaremaster G.G. Grant. And this is the second wave of Scaremaster, by the way, not the first. The first had like Jennifer and stuff. The second one had like Claudine and Invisibly and stuff. So yeah. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. And I will be doing a Disneyland vlog, because I already went to Disneyland, but I just have to edit all the parts. So, yeah. So, yeah. Bye, guys.